Mr. Investor Lot, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're going to be talking, my Bio Nano brothers and sisters. We're going to be talking about BNGO stock and all of the juiciest news. I'm literally piecing together the puzzle, piece by piece by piece, baby. So we had some insane news today. We had a massive run up on this insane news, and we went all the way up to hitting over 12. We broke the barrier, but then we were taken back down. I don't know why, but we are going to make it, baby. So today we're going to be talking about Bio Nano Genomics, the latest game breaking cancer news. We'll talk about exactly how big this market is, how much money we can possibly make, and we'll also talk about Linogen, our beloved subsidiary. So if you're new to the channel, howdy cowboy. My name is Miguel. I'm from London. I look at the best, juiciest growth stocks I can find on the market, and I deep dive and explore them. If you want to help support my channel, click the join button just above my head. Pick any tier. I appreciate all of you guys. But if you're unable to join, just you hitting the like button and clicking subscribe means the world to me. Thank you guys. And before we begin, I have to thank all of my members. I have to thank Jay, Joseph, Blue Sky on Mars, and thank you to my cowboys as well, TMG and Fred. Love you guys. Okay, let's get straight in there with the content. So I'm going to explain what happened today, the great news that came out, and also how this can help us actually get more clients, more customers. Then we're going to explore the market for cancer diagnosis. And then we are going to look towards our subsidiary and what they've come out with, what kind of news. So as you guys know, this Sapphire machine is doing wonders. Right now, some news has just come out regarding cancer. So today, February 11th, we have come out with method for solid tumor analysis with Sapphire is published by the Penn State Institute. So this opens the largest oncology market to optical genome mapping. So you guys must have already seen this. We are here in the genomic toolkit. We are number one. We are globally dominant in optical mapping. So a lot of you guys may have already read this. So I'm just going to summarize. And basically, Dr. James Broach. So this guy is the director of Penn State Institute for Personalized Medicine. He used the Sapphire system for OGM to characterize structural variations in 20 solid tumor samples from cancer patients. So what he found out was that BioNano's workflow and its software is able to identify cancer cancer specific variants in the tumor. So he's saying it can identify it even when they are present at low abundance. So when there's very few of them, and this is in highly complex tumors. And what's interesting to see was he said that in every sample, they didn't miss a single variant. OGM found all variants affecting important cancer genes. What he also went on to say was that the current study demonstrates that OGM with Sapphire is simple to use with solid tumors and solid tumors are actually the most common sample for cancer research and clinical testing. He then said that he used this SP blood and cell culture DNA isolation kit and he was able to successfully extract DNA from a wide variety of human solid tumors. So this was from the breast, from colon, from liver, brain, bladder, kidney, lung, ovary, prostate, all the types of cancer tissue. And what's interesting to note with his work, he found that every single tumor sample carried at least one structural variant that was affecting important tumor suppressor or oncogenes and most contained multiple variants. This means that several of the genes identified by OGM offered the opportunity for targeted therapies. This is really important because when you're talking targeted targeted therapies, we're talking sales to pharmaceutical companies as well. Sell the data to them. Let them be able to identify and see what structural variants to target. And our man, Mr. Jim Broach, PhD, said the oncologists studying liquid tumors such as leukemia have had the ability to visualize somatic structural variants across the entire tumor genome through karyotyping. And this tool has given them enormous benefits for prognosis and treatment selection, resulting in significant and steadily improving outcomes for patients. However, solid tumors cannot be analyzed by karyotyping. Ooh. Ooh. This is big now, you need to see this. Meaning that oncologists dealing with tumors, including breast, lung, prostate, brain, they've not had the tool in their diagnostic arsenal. So he was saying that with BioNano's OGM technology, he was able to see the same global view. He could see the entire view of all the structural variants across the entire solid tumor genome, but also he had 10,000 times greater resolution than that afforded by karyotyping. He then went to say that just like the recent history of karyotyping and liquid tumors, he thinks that OGM will yield the these kinds of insights into solid tumor diagnosis and treatment with the same potential for steady increase in improved patient outcomes. So that was pretty heavy to digest. And I know you guys are thinking, what the hell is going on? What are they on about? He's basically saying that what they've yielded with their results is they've been able to take these samples and look at structural variations across all these types of tumors in different kind of body parts. And what he has found is he's been able to identify using bio nano genomics technology of optical genome mapping. He's been able to identify all the structural variants that have a direct relationship with how 
the tumor grows. So as you can see here in the first paragraph, it said important tumor suppressor or oncogenes. So now you can see that we've been used in solid tumors now. So this is massive. There's different types of cancer and now we've been able to identify in solid tumors and this research study has proven it. And we've also been able to be very useful in leukemia. So those liquids kind of tumors too. There is so many different types of cancer. There's more than a hundred. There's probably 200 types of different cancer. And what he was saying was most of these cancers form from a lump called a tumor or a growth, but not all lumps are cancerous. But you need to be able to take a part of that lump and actually run a biopsy. And by running that biopsy, you're testing to see if it is cancer. In terms of the new cases, I've got a 2008 statistic here saying there was 18.1 million new cases of cancer worldwide during that year. And roughly about a year ago, there was a landmark leukemia study showing that bionanogenomics was able to identify 48 leukemia genomes, which were typically detected by the traditional methods of karyotyping, CNV microarray and fish. As you can see here, BioNano identifies all clinically reported variants. So now that being said, let's look at the cancer diagnostics market. We can see here that the revenue forecast in 2020 was around $169.1 billion and the revenue forecast for 2026 was $249.6 billion US dollars. This is a compounded annual growth rate of around 7% between 2019 and 2026. It's continuing to grow. So what was the information we had the other day? We got a pilot study, right? So let's check that out. Oh baby, so we have the largest hospital diagnostic lab in Canada and they're piloting our BioNano Sapphire system, right? And they want to change away from those 30 year old old systems. And if you can see down here to my left, you can see performing 25 million tests per year and they're serving 1,300 patients per day. So the next thing I want to talk about is when we go into hospitals to actually help them diagnose using optical genome mapping, we may actually come out with other types of tests that we can run for them. So if they're exploring it and they're seeing, wow, this machine can really do wonders, let's explore, you know, C19. So I went to the Prime Minister of Canada page. I think this is the official page. Let me know if I'm wrong, guys. And here it states $40 million for Canada C19 Genomics Network. So they're going to be allocating funds to try and check for this. And what do we do? Thank you, Dr. Rahindra or Ravindra. I can't remember your name, but you're a very special man because Sapphire reveals genetic drivers of severe C19 susceptibility. And that's been proven, baby. The next thing I wanted to talk about was Linogen. So this is going to be an absolute gemmy gem. They want to make it as easy as possible to actually get get genetic testing done. So as you know, with autism, it could be quite difficult to actually get, you know, DNA swabs and get um, the kids and, and the adults to kind of cooperate because they wouldn't necessarily understand what you're doing and you don't want to put them at discomfort. So what they're implementing now is actually a buccal swab, which is just it literally inside the mouth on the cheek, take the DNA sample, and then you can collect your cells and go away and do your genetic testing. And what's interesting is I think there's going to be a lot of money coming to play. And I think insurance companies are going to eventually pay up for genetic testing. As long as you have a doctor's authorized note, I think think it was. And the good thing about this is Linogen will handle all of it. So you can see here personalized insurance assistance includes Linogen handing all insurance correspondence. So you don't even need to sweat it. Don't worry, baby. We got you. So these guys kind of remind me a bit about Nano Dimensions plan. So what they've done is they've acquired Linogen as well as a way to access partners and providers. So as you can see here, if they're going to be doing lots of genetic testing, they could also use the Sapphire system and actually force the industry to actually try it out. And with our beloved Nano Dimension, what are they doing? They're trying to acquire people across Europe and America with the same clients in order to change the way that we manufacture PCBs so they're giving their machine out and also trying to put people maybe on consumables too because the ink makes the money for them right subscription model with the same as our consumable and our rental agreement here so if we're able to get this in and we're able to force the industry to adopt our machine let them try it it's a great machine it's going to save lives so why wouldn't they so now what's really strange is I'm looking at this ticker symbol and I'm like is the ticker symbol frozen is the stock market like signing up with it because it's literally not moving I don't know why. Are we like just on level where we began in the beginning of the day? Nobody knows where we could go with this company short term, but I am super long term on it. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment only, but I believe in their system more than ever. Every single academic that has come out and is publishing these studies, they're showing that we have the ability to see structural variants that other companies cannot. And if we are able to save lives and improve patient outcomes, why would the industry not adopt our Sapphire system? So in terms of solid tumors, in terms of leukemia, we've even got it for C19. We are so used useful with structural variants and rare disease too. And with the CLIA certification and lab coming through and we've got our linogen over there, what is going to happen, baby? You tell me. Drop me some comments below. I love you guys. Mr. Investalot, baby. Over and out. Shoo.